All right, well, I found out that um, my uh, cheap solder will work with Epsom salts and distilled water. Um, and Epsom salts is magnesium sulfate. Uh, the alum was aluminum sulfate. And I believe it's the SO4, the sulfate, that's causing the cell, uh, simple cell to work. You can see the dark color on the positive and the light color on the negative. And I'm charging this with a 70 milliamp, 3 volt uh, solar panel. Now, if you keep charging this, the negative plate there will start to bubble. And uh, if you continue on, you'll start to bubble on the other plate also. And that's uh, hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen's coming off the negative. And uh, that's just electrolyzing the, the water. And like I say, that's distilled water and uh, magnesium sulfate, uh, Epsom salt. Uh, let me hook this up to the motor so you can see that it actually has some power to run something. Uh, it's about a volt and a half is what uh, you end up with, just like the alum. And let's see if I can get this to go here. This thing takes about about 5 to 10 to 20 milliamps depending on how you have it set up. But there goes the motor running and that's running off that uh, Epsom salt distilled water and that cheap cheap solder which I now think is probably 80 percent or more lead and uh, it's not the 50-50 that I thought. I'm pretty sure this is a high concentration of lead a small amount of uh, 10 but uh, the camera's making that look like it's going really, really slow, but it's actually speeding up. And uh, this will start going the other way. Let me stop it. I'll start it up again. Interesting camera strobe effect. But uh, anyway, this is uh, rather interesting that you can make one of these homemade rechargeable cells with some very, very common materials. Thanks for watching.